Where's Gav? As ragged as with that log, so... Well, did you find me some wax? Find is one way of putting it. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. Don't just stand there gawping. Coin purse weighing you down. I'll be thankful you got that much. Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So... You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals.
Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Ironholm. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that, then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rossfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? You look like you could do with a drink. How am I getting on? Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of Stone here, even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. Are you? Long now, Martel. Sid, I, I am uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh yeah, it's just well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. 
It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. That room's as ragged as a goat. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Others weren't so lucky, though. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Uh, old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? 
I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the dead rooms. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Claude, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. breakers send their thanks and their compliments they were clearly very fond of Martel they remembered her a after all these years I suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me you were one of the good ones Martel why did you have to die she put everything into her work she wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy and now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. 
for what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. <laughs> Justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! I think we're loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. But would we a uh, pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful? Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? All right. I heard you the first time. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You've seen him, didn't you? At least I think there was a Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. 
If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Vicerine's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Company. Ever since the Apoditry, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The Mother Crystal's collapsed? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. More of my mother's men.
Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield, Rosaria. <laughs> Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> they await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry.
find something, boy. Death. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it... Approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Run like the wind. I can walk from here. But this is their home. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Boyfriend's dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. No, get enough from me. I'm the jealous bastard. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you? Back to your stall! We'll cut you down where you stand! Just try it! No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in.
I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. A crown can lose its luster. Not abandoned then. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. We can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. 
Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... ...she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Is it you require? Of course, my lord. I will be here should you need aught else.